Can you hear me? Okay. Um, hello everyone, I'm Lorenzo Grande from ID TechX and I'm here with uh, Dr. Elia, who is a senior researcher at the Technical University of Berlin. And uh, he uh, focuses on uh, un um, unconventional uh, battery chemistries. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, uh, we actually are focusing on uh, the development of an uh, aluminum battery system and trying to find a way to uh, overcome the issue of the possibility of the limitation of the lithium resource. In fact, uh, considering the chance to have a completely electric, uh, uh, a, com uh, a fulfillment of the market by electric vehicles, there are some uh, some uh, perspective that say that the lithium will be not enough. Okay. So we we have uh, the we have the problem to find the alternative electrochemical system uh -huh. using much more uh, abundant element and uh, that can be sodium, magnesium, potassium, and aluminum. In particular, our uh, activity is focused on aluminum since it's the most abundant uh, metal on the earth crust. Okay. Due to its uh, three valency is uh, characterized by the really elevated energy density and uh, it, uh, it have a volumetric energy density that exceeds four times the one of lithium system. Wow, that's that amazing. Is, uh, will so be a great advantage. Clearly, is the the system is still in this infancy. Is uh, the real development of such system starts more or less one years and half ago. So we are. Uh, really really at the beginning and uh, but uh, there are a lot of uh, space to make improvement and to try to develop some uh, some good systems yes and uh, your lab was one of the first in the world to start working on yeah these, yeah on we this yeah, actually the the first uh, the this research come uh, starts from the very famous Stanford paper in nature about the aluminum battery system they clearly demonstrated that the uh, it's possible to make a battery out of uh, aluminum that is uh, is uh, unbelievable because uh, yeah. it's a really stable uh, metal. We use it to pack the food and yeah. uh, use it in a battery to make a uh, reversible electric chemical process is something that is uh, really particular. And But uh, now we found the condition to make it possible and uh, we need to improve it uh, to make it, uh, bring it to the real market. Do you, do you have one? Great. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not um. yet. <laughs> in uh, three years, four years, maybe. Okay. And uh, maybe. In, in terms of uh, energy density and average voltage, what numbers the, uh, can you disclose? The, the point is that uh, clearly the voltage of the aluminum system is much lower. And uh, it's 2.5 2 volt okay. lower respect of lithium. Uh, basically, we, uh, we cannot believe to beat lithium in terms of energy density. Okay. The, uh, the, there are some uh, space to try to reach lithium in terms of volumetric energy density. Mm -hmm. Since we, we can, uh, one of the main advantages is that uh, uh, for this system you can use directly aluminum metal. That right. is not possible for lithium system. So. Yeah. In the development of a real battery pack, this is, will be a great advantage because we'll be enough a few microns of uh, uh, aluminum uh, foil to sustain the capacity of uh, a cathode material. I see. The so problem is the cathode material that uh, the only one that uh, is uh, suitable until now is uh, the graphite. Mm -hmm. with a limited capacity that is uh, one-third of the conventional lithium-ion mm -hmm. lithium system that lead uh, to the actual uh, aluminum battery system is, uh, uh, that can be developed is uh, uh, have an energy density in the, in the range of the nickel metal hydride batteries. Okay. And uh, you will be talking about this, uh, your uh, research this afternoon in yeah. the track 7. Yeah, at the yeah actually uh, uh, I'm involved in a European funded project. It's uh, a lion with uh, the, where there are involved several uh, industrial partner research institute. And uh, we are trying, we, are, uh, we have some collaboration also with the Helmholtz Institute in Ulm, uh, with the Helmholtz Institute in Berlin. 
to okay. make some more research on this topic. So we, we are quite confident that uh, in the following years we, we will be able to find something uh, that is good. Wow, this is great. <laughs> and uh, are you enjoying the Aditech X show so far? Yes, the first time and it's, uh, it's really great, it's really huge. The exposition is, uh, yes. is really impressive. Ah, also well. they talk as well and the food is really good. Okay, we're very <laughs> glad to have you here. Okay, thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you.